What if the tiniest of black holes could unravel the universe's biggest mystery, dark matter? Now there's a thought to make your head spin. But before we dive into this cosmic whodunit, let's take a moment to unpack the enigma that is dark matter. It's one of the most pressing puzzles in physics today. Despite making up an estimated 85% of all matter in the cosmos, dark matter remains effectively invisible to us, because it doesn't interact with light. Imagine that. The universe is filled with this mysterious stuff, but we can't see it, touch it, or even detect it with our most advanced instruments. Now contrast that with the matter we're familiar with. The stars, planets, and even our own bodies. This everyday stuff is made of particles that do interact with light, which is why we can see and experience it. So if dark matter isn't playing by the same rules, then we need to look outside the standard model of particle physics to find it. But here's the twist. What if we've been looking in the wrong place all along? What if the answer isn't some exotic new particle but something far more familiar, something a little bit monstrous even? We're talking about black holes, but not the supermassive kind you're probably picturing. Instead, consider their diminutive cousins. Primordial black holes. Born in the first moments after the Big Bang, no larger than a proton, but potentially packed with enough gravitational pull to account for dark matter. This theory has been around for a while but it's gaining traction as the search for a dark matter particle continues to mostly draw a blank, so while we're still far from a definitive answer, primordial black holes are emerging as a viable suspect in the mystery of dark matter. With the search for dark matter drawing a blank, it's time to consider a surprising suspect, tiny black holes. As we delve deeper into this cosmic conundrum, remember, sometimes the smallest things can hold the keys to the universe's grandest secrets. From monstrous to minuscule, black holes might hold the key to understanding dark matter. Now let's take a detour down a cosmic road less traveled, and introduce you to a theory that's reigniting interest among scientists. Enter the stage, tiny black holes, birthed in the explosive aftermath of the Big Bang. Imagine for a moment black holes no larger than a proton. These are not the colossal star-gobbling monsters we're used to hearing about, these are primordial black holes and they might just be the most unassuming dark matter suspects. Two researchers spearheading this investigation are Valentin Thoss from the Max Planck Institute and Ana Fernandez Alexandra from the University of Lisbon. They propose that these pint-sized cosmic phenomena, born over 13.8 billion years ago, could cluster together and become key players in the dark matter narrative, all without the need for new physics. But why this sudden interest in these tiny cosmic suspects? Well, it's a twofold story. Firstly, we've had a recent shift in our understanding of how black holes evaporate, prompting us to reassess the viability of primordial black holes as dark matter suspects. It seems these tiny black holes might be sticking around much longer than we initially thought. Secondly, as our search for a dark matter particle continues to come up empty, more and more researchers are beginning to consider the primordial black hole theory more seriously. If our usual suspects aren't panning out, it makes sense to look in new, or in this case, very old places. So, we're left with a fascinating possibility. These primordial black holes born in the universe's infancy and persisting billions of years later, might just hold the key to one of the most pressing mysteries in modern physics. With a shift in understanding how black holes evaporate, we're prompted to reassess their potential role in the dark matter mystery. Now isn't that a thought to ponder as we gaze into the cosmic unknown? Born in the first fractions of a second of the universe, primordial black holes may be the oldest suspects in our cosmic investigation. Just after the Big Bang, our universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Amidst the chaos, certain areas were denser than others, with more particles packed into a small space. These overdense regions were the seeds for the formation of all structures in the universe, from galaxies to black holes. Let's imagine the early universe as a vast ocean. In this ocean there are areas where the water is slightly denser. These regions are akin to the over-dense patches in the early universe. Now, if the density difference in these patches was strong enough, and if these patches collapsed under their own gravity before they had a chance to disperse, they could have formed primordial black holes. You might be wondering, how could something as massive as a black hole form from such tiny fluctuations? The answer lies in the immense gravity of these over-dense patches. The gravity was so strong that it overcame the outward pressure, causing the patch to collapse inward, forming a black hole. This wasn't a one-size-fits-all process, though. 
Depending on the timing and scale of the collapse, these primordial black holes could have very different masses. Some might be as small as a proton, while others could be as massive as a small asteroid, weighing between a few tons and a thousand tons. To put that into perspective, that's far less than the mass of the smallest black holes we've discovered to date, known as stellar mass black holes, which have masses equivalent to between 3 and 50 times that of the Sun. These primordial black holes born in the cradle of the universe may hold the key to understanding dark matter, the universe's most elusive and mysterious substance. As we continue to investigate, we may find that these ancient cosmic suspects have been hiding in plain sight all along. Depending on when and how these collapses occurred, these primordial black holes could have very different masses. Imagine a black hole with a mass less than a planet, but more than a small asteroid. Could this be the face of dark matter? Let's delve into a theory that's been gaining traction recently. Primordial black holes as candidates for dark matter. We've previously discussed the elusive nature of dark matter. It's invisible to us because it doesn't interact with light yet it comprises an estimated 85% of the matter in the universe. This has led to the search for dark matter particles outside our current understanding of physics or the standard model. However, what if the answer lies within the standard model itself? Scientists like Valentin Thos and Ana Fernandez Alexandra suggest that tiny black holes born just after the Big Bang over 13.8 billion years ago might hold the key. These primordial black holes are no larger than a proton, but could cluster together and potentially account for dark matter without the need for new physics. Now, when we think of black holes, we generally think of cosmic behemoths. But these primordial black holes are different. They're incredibly small, with masses ranging between a few tons and a thousand tons. To put that in perspective, that's less than the mass of a planet and more akin to a small asteroid. This is a stark contrast to the smallest known black holes, the stellar mass black holes, which have masses equivalent to between 3 and 50 times that of the Sun. And remember the Sun itself weighs a staggering 2.2 times 10 to the power of 27 tons. That's a 22 followed by 26 zeros. So, could these tiny black holes be the face of dark matter? It's a question that's prompting a reassessment of primordial black holes viability as dark matter suspects. As our search for a dark matter particle continues, the theory of primordial black holes as dark matter becomes increasingly compelling. As we continue to peer into the cosmos, the role of tiny black holes in our search for dark matter becomes increasingly intriguing. As we delve deeper into the universe's most mysterious stuff, the story of dark matter gets even more fascinating. We've journeyed through the cosmos, uncovering the potential of tiny cosmic suspects, primordial black holes born in the universe's infancy, just seconds after the Big Bang. No larger than a proton, they may have survived far longer than we once thought, clustering together in the shadows. These miniature black holes, weighing less than a small asteroid yet more than a few tons, could be the elusive answer to one of the most pressing problems in physics. They may be the unseen majority, the dark matter that makes up an estimated 85% of the universe's matter, but remains invisible to our eyes. Dark matter, the universe's elusive enigma, might just have its roots in the tiniest of black holes. As we continue our cosmic investigation, stay tuned for more exciting revelations.